Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Below There's and Beyond. In the last video, we got our trains up and running. We actually have a train that is running between the alpha, so-called alpha site up here and the soon-to-be-built beta site. I've got a vista and a research site right here. Unfortunately, these facilities have both malfunctioned. I've got the water reclamation system online, and I'm running really just on life support right now because somebody on Mars knocked out my sponsor research for 15 souls, but once that 15 souls is over, I'm going to find out who's responsible for this. And if it's space, why? I'm going to be a little frustrated. They've been just the thorn in my ass this entire playthrough. Uh, working on remote farming, mainly just so I can work down the biotech tree and get some better things researched. We got water reclamation done, which is going to be very helpful. We have a dust storm that's going to be wrapping up here in a couple of days. Really important, too. We're going to get our train station repaired and start getting that train going back the other direction. Um, yep, you're fine. There's our train. There he goes. I don't want any passengers on this, which is fine. Need to actually make sure it's not doing any of that stuff. But the train... Breakthrough discovered. Super fungus. The worst of the breakthroughs. I really don't like that one. Then again... This is an a tw this is an eleven hundred ninety five percent difficulty playthrough. I've rounded up to twelve hundred. Yeah, I kind of expect it. What are we doing on water? Eh, we got a we have a deficit to be sure, but not critical deficit, mind you. I was talking about this in the last video, huh? I guess they don't allow. I was reading somewhere. Meteor incoming. Oh. Sucks to be you. Nothing was built there. Other than the train tracks. Let's go ahead and build these pipes. I'm just going to run them parallel to the tracks. I was actually seeing... This must have been something that's been patched out. Because I'm recording this right after Tuesday's video, mind you. Sector scanned. Since the pipes are already built, easy peasy, if I get superior cables, then I can just run power down here and I can hook this grid up to this grid down here. So now any water that I produce down here from this water deposit, I can send it back up to the main colony. O2 is running a touch low, but it's not super running low right now. There's all my water disappearing too. 7.1. I am using it to create this stuff. But once this dust storm ends, um, I am working on creating more officers. In fact, I've got eight of them right now. I want to have enough officers so that when, not if, I go after Space Y, I'm going to make sure that I can try to recruit some of their colonists. If I lose them, I can send, them, I can send another group right back over there to try to recruit some colonists. I want to make Space Y hurt for this one. 48 colonists in Russia, 48 colonists in Europe. I've got, wow, 48 here too. What are the odds? I've only got three kids, but I do know that some of these are the result of Project Phoenix. Do you remember Project Phoenix, that break that I got, right? Oh, right here. Chronic condition, fit, founder, Martian born, Martian born founder, and sexy. So I'm able to get more, um, hopefully I'll be able to perpetuate the colony with this. Go ahead, slap down another large dumping site over here. Maybe get some of the waste rock out of the station. Sector scanned. Down here, no machine parts are being delivered. That does frustrate me some. And I do have all the metals I need for, to build this, mind you. I just don't have any of the concrete of the polymers, because I don't know. Let's see. Hang on. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. 
trying to see how I can get stuff sent down here. Vector pump. This is a good one. I do like this breakthrough quite a bit. Water production increased by 100%. Unfortunately, it is one of the later breakthroughs in this playthrough and would take an absurd amount of time for me to get to. It's uh, 18,000 research to get it right now. So that one's a little out of reach for me at the moment. Uh, my RC Explorer is way up here. I'm going to bring him all the way down, around, up, and over to this spot so I can get that going as well. Okay. So I've got to descend all by train. Got another key here. That's helpful. Let's we'll see if this works now. It says balance via trains, but there's nothing to balance. Hopefully, they'll send some materials down here that are needed. Perfect. Got some machine parts, got some concrete. I do have a concrete extractor here, so theoretically, I could set up a drone hub. Let's call them right here. Research complete. Eh, I wouldn't be in a good spot because I kind of need them right, right here, actually, to be the most effective. Actually, here. Right about here, actually, would be the best place for them because I can access the water deposit. I can access the rare metals, both of them. I control Sector the scan. I control the dome. Wow, three keys over here. I like it. Absolutely take that. How many officers do I have right now? I've got ten. Let's gamble. If I lose them, I got four left. And I'm training a lot of officers. And I'm about to get some more. So let's be bold. And see what we can do. The odds are I'm going to fail again. Because I had that failure earlier this week. And I'm going to be a little disappointed. Oh well. Alright. Let's send you back on your auto route. Hopefully they're taking all this waste rock. Thank you. Out of here. Sorry, let's send a hey hey up here to grab all this waste rock out. Alright. Fingers crossed folks. Fingers crossed. Oh, and autosave too. Resources are low. Yes! Recruited 18 colonists. So they're going to go live over here. I'm probably going to need to put a security Sector post scan. down here for them. Okay, hang on a second. There we go. Four keys. But now I've got extra colonists that I can go train. I'm going to actually make this an auto now. Because I've got a lot of available job slots, so I can probably set up some extra stuff. Um, like opening this up. Opening this up. There's more to the Interplanetary bar. projects. That's this one here. And I... Something architecture. Martian festival. Resilient architecture. Outdoor buildings require maintenance less often. But let's get some colonists down here. We got 24 passengers on board. Yes! And we're going to immediately put them to use. I'm going to turn this dome on. We're going to turn this guy on. Open you up. Hopefully our colonists are being... Are receiving some, some form of an education. In this. But look at that. I like it. I've got two people without jobs right now. Sector totally scan. fine. I'm actually going to switch off that, so we're just going to be growing wheat. Oops. Getting way too close to these things. Ooh, we got an eyeball over there. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll grab the eyeball first. Then I'm going to grab all four keys. Alright, I'm in a decent mood now. We got some materials that we needed. We got five of our 100 concrete here. It says balance between good 20. Bones and shells will attempt to stockpile at least 20 of each resource stored here. I don't need... 
Wow, you can do that, I guess. Um, don't need seeds, don't need exotics. Or I can get 20 of each of these, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That should be fine. I do think this is the right place for a drone hub at the moment, so Sector's I'll utilize game. him. Okay. I don't, I don't think I've heard all of Revelation Radio, but ooh. Good funky beat. I like that. That's nice. Sounds a little alien, but still has that beat to it. I like that a lot. I'm running very low on rare metals, I'm realizing right now. Ooh, it's because the deposit has been depleted. So I'm only getting 0.8 per day. Hey! I'll take that. 800 million in funding and 3,000 flat research. That got deep metal extraction done up for me. And ooh. Let's go downstairs. Hey, look what I have down here. That's available for me to go ahead and get my hands on. Um, do I have any of the materials to make it? No, I don't. Okay, let's go upstairs. Um, I need to grab... Probably need to grab... Hey, hey. Probably need to grab Sector's this guy down. here. But we'll get the metals that we can off of this guy. Go ahead and get this sorted out as best possible. 45 drones. Okay. Can you spare... You have 15. You have 6. You have 21. Exotics, rares, water, sometimes polymers, always good. I would like to get uh, something going up there. But again, it's just, do I have the materials needed to spare that? Hang on a second. Do I have the materials needed to spare that? No, I don't. Okay. You two, what are you carrying? I need you and, yeah, you three. Use the elevator. Go downstairs. We're going to get an automated rare metals extractor out here. Okay. I have no idea where these guys are going. Now, I do also know that we have these waste rock processors. It's right here. So, like, if it's waste rock and a concrete, we might have to go towards that, too, considering that we do need more concrete. There's the MDS. Hang on. I do want to get micro-G mining so I can actually have those materials on the rocket to produce to build those things locally when I start doing asteroid mining. I also need to make sure I have capture asteroid research before I do anything like that. All right, let's go ahead. Just like a single large dumping site. Let's put it right here. We'll get these three drones on it. Sectors. Right, go down. upstairs. They're going to need materials down there for it, but we'll come back and check on them in a while. Okay. Four keys, three beakers, four beakers that need to be accessed right now. Got most of our metals here. Hmm. Do I have any polymers here? Sector I keep getting food here. Interesting. A fifth key. Good, great googly moogly. Got a lot of keys right now. Alright, what do we need downstairs to build these things? We need 40 metals and 12 machine parts. So let's go ahead. I don't have 96 on here. Oh. Can we clear that, please? Okay, I need Hey Hey, actually. Sector scanned. Need you up here. Please report to the elevator to go do your dang gerb. Wasn't expecting I have to be spending so much time down here this week. Okay, clear that out. Going to this is a lot of 
there are a significant number of machine parts right here, which I can totally turn around and use. There they are. Happy little machine parts. All right, we utilize those. I could definitely benefit from more drones down there. However, all right. Anomaly analyzed. There's more. To Microgravity the medicine, signal boosters, signal booster down here. Micrograv medicine. That's always a good uh, spire to have in your domes. Let's grab these last two guys. We'll go here, then here. We're almost done with all the all, scanning all the sectors. That's pretty good too. All right. Doing Sector decently. Scanned. I'm actually going to shut down. Nope, not that guy. Shut down my automated electronics factory right now. I've got plenty of electronics going right now, but very low rare metals. I'm going to hold off on that for the time being. Hey, where you at? Cool. He's grabbing materials. Um, as long as he's not bringing back waste rock, I'll be happy. I have a feeling he's going to start collecting waste rock. And if he does, I'm going to be pissed. Thankfully, we've got stuff here that we can actually build these guys up. The power will be transferred from upstairs. Ten colonists for technologies. Five drones for resources. Four engineers for resources. Ten for resources. All right. I want the research progress of the new techs first. I have... Sector scanned. That was weird. I guess because I didn't have any available right where I was, it was coming an issue or something. Who knows? All right, Rush is offering me a decent deal. I don't think it's a great deal, mind you. Should actually probably set up a trade where I'm getting food for one of my advanced uh, projects and then turning around and using the food to trade for concrete or something. Okay. So that's being scanned still. Almost done with it. Like a lot of my colonists that were in projects got moved to something else. Okay. Do you go to school? Anomaly yes, analyzed. you do. There's more to the Advanced micro G mining operations. That's actually. Ooh, deep asteroid mining. Both of these are really good. So we can actually have micro G habitats. We can allow colonists to go up there and pull stuff. With nano refinement, you don't need it. Deep asteroid mining, always good. Lake crafting is available, bioengineering, Martian born adaptability. There's a space elevator, very helpful. Uh, we got factory AI, always good. Fusion auto regulation, creative disposition. Vector probably already have that as well. There's more to the barren environment. That was what we got from the mission that we sent out for our 10 colonists on. Okay, where you at? Cool. Building the pipes. We're going to get these guys up and running. I want these guys to actually try dusting each other, keeping them uh, operational. Hopefully, hey, hey, we'll get to those Sector in the scan. long run. Gonna hold off on doing any crazy mining type things for a bit, at least. All right. So it looks like I run up to 10. Oh, sorry, I'm run six. We've got our 12, but we still need the 8 electronics to get this guy built. And I'll build them based off of this guy. Uh, any polymers on site? No, none. Dang it. Research complete. Micro-G mining. I do want to get that, obviously, for when I start doing some asteroid stuff. Now we're going to the MDS. I'm going to bypass utility crops right now because we've got a lot more stuff that's going to be available to us. And then waste rock liquefaction is going to help me start converting some the waste rock into concrete. Yes, I know carbonate processes are going to be available for me a little bit later on. However, the immediate need is to get that. And if I need to create a lot of waste rock, I can do giant flattening projects, which will be no problem. Neo concrete, Martian steel, both breakthroughs I want to get my hands on. It's right now an issue of I don't have a ton of. I don't have a ton of research coming my way. The experimental rocket, though, this is something from a few episodes ago. Let's see what's going on with it. 
A critical design flaw has been discovered in the prototype rocket. How could they miss that? Luckily, the engine flaw was removed and the design has been updated to the new specs before any tragic accident took place. So I've got three rockets now, which is good. I am thinking about getting that uh, supply lander and bringing it on up here. That way I can grab one of these asteroids and just set up on the asteroid. Um, I think I've only got 19 and a half. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Open up a second shift on my recon center. See if I can get more. I'm a little frustrated that Sector scan. I can't get any more electronics stored here right now. They have to be done in integers, essentially. You know what? Let's actually do this. I'm going to do a second recon center. I'm going to kind of tuck it in down here. I'm going to turn this shift off. And then put this shift on for it. How many renegades am I running with right now? Six out of 71 colonists. I'm going to need to get some security posts up and running too. And I'm going to set that guy up right here. I'm going to get some security posts up and running as well. Hopefully, once I get an electronic stored here, I can Anomaly utilize it. Analyze. Make a detailed scan. Domeless farming. The broken open farm. And Martian copyrights. Gets us $2 billion every time we research it. Research building, though, we're actually getting quite a bit from it, which I'm totally on board with. Russia, decent deal. I'm going to see if I can do, like, food for concrete. Because I'm making 18 food every other day. No, wait, hang on. Bad offer, Europe. Uh, let's go ahead and do Flamingo. Go downstairs. All right, we are waiting on the electronics for this. We're going to get those guys going, and I'm going to bring these guys online one at a time. Got the machine parts, too, so we're Sector good on that scan. front. All right, A7 came up blank. That offer was not what I was hoping. Let's try polymers for concrete, because I got 300 polymers. Let's see if anybody will nibble and give me, like, 100 concrete for that. Oh, no. Sorry, Space Y. You're assholes. So I'm not trading with you. I'm really not. This is this is like unrestricted submarine warfare. I'm just going to start... Ooh, they have 3,000 concrete. They ha landed colonists on Mars and sold 132. Research utility crops. I could start stealing techs from them. No. Anybody but you. Jerks. All right. Anomaly analyzed. We got 27 polymers. I like it. Okay. So this is a C-type asteroid. A little bit of metals, a little bit of polymers, some rares, and some exotics. 93 from two deposits. 55 rare metals from a single deposit. Hmm. I'm going to let that one go. I'm actually going to let that one go because I do think I can get something better. C-types are like, they're ordinary. They're just supposed to be like the super easy. Anybody can get those types ones. That's not what I'm looking for for me. I'm looking for better stuff. So I'm going to look for better. We got plenty of people in my apartment complexes. We got plenty of people at Marsh University. I don't even have 10 open job spots. Sector scan. I think I can maybe open this up a little bit. Go ahead, bring these drones back with their polymers. Check downstairs real quick. Still waiting on the electronics. Interesting. Can you reach this? I don't Sector think he's going to be scan. able to, but I can also just go upstairs and request or just call down 10 electronics and I'll be fine. All right, we got one more key to scan. Two more keys to scan right now. We've almost got all the sectors done up, which is nice. Still a little disappointed that this did not pan out the way I wanted it to, but I do think that a giant flattening project over here, getting this whole section to line up with this, is just as easy a thing to do, especially with these two rare metals deposits right here. Because my plan was, my evil master plan, was to kind of put it like right here, and have the drones able to run down the ramp to the train station, but they're not in range of this, which is my big problem. Okay. Anything else I can go grab? 
Demeter wants a safari. Fahrenheit wants people. I don't know if I have any engineers. Let's see if I do. I have zero engineers. So let's go ahead and request some engineers be uh, trained. I almost said built. Caught myself. Sector scan. Good lord, how many keys are on this map? It's like the Francis Scott Key. Key. If you know that reference. Anomaly nice. analyzed. There's more to the Deep space scanning, guards. microfusion, um, increased uh, let's see, increased power consumption. There's my microfusion, the artificial sun. So yeah, robotics is where I need to be really focusing on, but MDS is a must. Hey! My sponsor stuff's coming back online, which means we're going to know which bastard sabotaged me. Taking a look at the planetary screen, let's see where our options are. We got Russia, we got Europe, and we got Space Y. I think the biggest portrayal will be is if, if, if it came from Europe, I think that's the biggest portrayal that I could think of. Russia, I could kind of expect it, given my experience with Russian colonies in the playthrough. And Space Y, it really just seems like it's something that they would do just to be giant dicks. Wow! Alright. It was Europe! I was not expecting Europe to be behind this. As things stand now, we have no way of retaliating. However, we have mustered up a long-term plan which, through which, should the opportunity ever arise, we may get payback for their reckless actions. If we have half a billion dollars, I got four billion. We can't let this go unpunished. Set aside funds and wait for the perfect opportunity. Anomaly analyzed. You bet your ass I'm doing it. I've had... They killed five of my colonists. Space Y took... I can't remember what X marks the spot does. But the fact that they got that and it was not me that got it. I'm a little frustrated on that. Russia's actually been my best ally in this gameplay, believe it or not. They've been willing to trade with me. They've been willing to give me good deals on stuff. They've been the least dickish of the other colonies in this. I'm going to play the long game with Europe. I'm still just like at full war with Space Y. So I'm totally okay with just being Sector scanned. a bastard code or bastard with bastard filling when it comes to that. So we're scanning that. We're going to scan this guy. Ugh, I'm realizing I did not take a, enough of a break Anomaly between the last analyzed. video and this one. There's more to the barren environment. There's my inner planetary astronomy. I'm actually going to queue that one up because the Omega Telescope's awesome. Um, interesting. Okay, I got a physics reduction of 10% at some point. I can't remember when. So we got underground psych studies, prefab refabs, this last one here. And that's actually a decent one. Um, probably going to order up some... Uh, actually, you know what? Oh, bugger. Hang on. So Megadome is going to get me 10,000 flat research. Six of nine giggity breakthrough technology is going to give me $3 billion dollars. For the milestones, all sponsor goals are going to give me 25, or no, sorry, all sectors are going to give me 2,500 research. I'm going to get the thousand, uh, the 100 colonists with the 100 flat, 1,000 flat research. Jesus, Steve, speak English. And then 40% workers and workshops will give me 10,000 flat research. Hmm. Let's take a look. 47 exotics, 104 rares, 364 medals. Hmm. Let's get stuff going. Get a landing pad. I'm going to put it... I'm going to kind of put it down in this area, I think. This is just going to be for the Micro-G lander, mind you. Go ahead, put a fuel depot down here. And this is probably a decent thing because these guys are full up. And you can reach that fuel running. Perfect. I'm going to clear this out and then Asteroid Lander's on its way. 
I'm going to utilize an asteroid lander in the next video. I'm going to go take a look at that asteroid. If anything suspicious is going on there, we'll capture it. And that's the big thing, because we can't capture these asteroids once I actually have that technology researched. I can go up there, maybe grab the rare metals. I'm not worried about the exotics at the moment. Grab some rare metals, come on back with them. Um, I don't have prefab prefab, though. Damn it. I'm not going to go up there just yet. Sector scan. This last technology here, prefab prefab, it's incredibly expensive, but is incredibly worth it. Prefab refab lets you essentially pack up buildings when you, instead of demolishing them, meaning that the one prefab I have here... Why am I still getting keys? Meaning the prefab refab will be just flower search. Wow, they couldn't even move that waste rock off. Okay. Get that stuff cleared. Having a bad video, though. I'm kind of happy with what we got done. We've got... We've got uh, security officers now countering my renegades. This one is almost fully staffed. How many engineers do I have? Anomaly I have analyzed. three. I need one more. There's more to the Behavioral melding. The that is our... The Let's see, upgrade for the sanatorium. Carbonate process. There's prefab refab. Allows buildings to be converted back into prefab so they can be deployed again in a different location. Farm automation. Always good. Compact hangars. We're getting to that point now where it's just going to be these two technology trees, the biotech and terraforming, that we're just waiting on to get stuff done up. Robotics, I'm surprised, have taken this long to get this far to the bottom of the screen, but engineering, physics, these three are the ones I go for the most often. I'm going to go ahead and bring you down. And then we're going to bring you back down here, check in downstairs. Hey, hey, where you at? You are seriously unsafe at any speed, my friend. Let's go ahead, request 10. Right, that's not going to happen. Hey, he's going to need to go upstairs to get that. And in the next video, we're going to get this site up and running. We've got the metals that are here to start pulling down waste rock. And we can set a maximum, or like a minimum waste rock that we have here. But like, 10 or whatever. We'll make sure that we keep moving waste rock up to the surface. So that... We can export it back to Earth and start getting some materials based and start getting me some materials out of it. That's weird. It's not actually showing the numbers. There it is. Being scanned. That was a weird glitch. Anyway, we've done a lot. We've got some trains going. We've almost got everything scanned out. I'm happy. I hope you're happy too. I hope you're having a good day. Um,. Take care of yourselves. Uh, I, I've not been really talking to y'all directly scan. as of late. Um, kind of just get a little lost moon while talking about the game, but um, let me know what's going on. Like, you know, if you had something good that happened in your life uh, recently, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to interact with you on that. Also, let me know how far you've actually watched this video, because let's be honest, not everybody watches to the end. I get it. I'm just as bad as some of y'all sometimes when I'm watching through video. I, I've been known to double tap the screen to jump ahead 10 seconds where there ain't much going on. But for now, though, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Oh, bloody hell, what now? Oh, no. I'm down to 14. 14? Yeah, down to 14 of those uh, warning towers. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.